मॉड्यूल 13 एंड डिफरेंस कर्व्स वो मेयर यूटिलिटी अंडर कॉर्डिनल अप्रोच एंड ऑर्डिनल अप्रोच कॉर्डिनल अप्रोच इज अ वे वेयर वी मेयर वेयर वी कैन मेयर यूटिलिटी अंडर कॉर्डिनल अप्रोच वी अज्यूम यूटिलिटी दैट समवन इज समवन इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर कमोडिटी इज इंडिपेंडेंट फ्रॉम द क्वांटिटीज ऑफ अदर कमोडिटीज बट इन रियलिटी कंजम यूटिलिटी दैट समवन इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर कमोडिटी इज आल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन द लेवल ऑफ क्वांटिटीज ऑफ अदर कमोडिटीज फॉर एग्जांपल यूजेज ऑफ लोफ विदाउट बटर विल गिव यू अ सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन बट व्हेन वी यूज लोफ विद बटर देन देयर इज सम चेंज इन लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन दैट समवन इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम द कंजम्पशन ऑफ लोफ सिमिलरली इफ वी मेक अ मेक द यूटिलिटी that someone is getting from a slice without using jam it will be some will be different than if someone is using the same slice along with jam so utility that someone is getting from the consumption of one commodity it depends upon the available depends upon the quantities of other commodities too and similarly under cardinal approach we assume we can add utility that we are getting from different commodities and the utility that we are getting from different commodities are independent from the quantities of other commodities and these are this is an unreasonable approach to measure the utility while under ordinal approach we assume consumer is getting satisfaction from a consumption bundle and that consumption bundle usually includes are large number of goods and services and the utility that someone is getting from a particular commodity it depends upon the quantity of other commodities too under ordinal approach we are also in a position to rank different to rank the level of satisfaction against different consumption bundles and we are not measuring the utility numerically we are only making a comparison we are we are assigning ranks we are assigning orders to different levels of to different consumption bundles so for example again if we are considering the example of apples and oranges the consumer is using apple and oranges to get satisfaction against different combinations of apples and oranges he will get a certain level of satisfaction but against those different com combination of apples and oranges we are in a position only to rank orders to different consumption bundles we are not in a position to say that someone is getting 25 utils of utility against this particular combination of apples and oranges and 50 units utils of utility against another combination of apples and oranges we can only say consumer is getting more satisfaction from a particular combination of apples and oranges as compared to another combination of apples and oranges and to elaborate the order of the preferences of the consumer we usually use the concept of iso utility iso means same and utility means satisfaction so iso utility is iso utility curve or indifference curve is a curve that shows different combination of commodities against which a consumer is getting same same satisfaction to keep things simple we assume consumer is getting satisfaction by using only two commodities if we assume those two commodities are apples and oranges in real life a consumer is in fact using a large number of commodities but to keep things easy to keep things understandable we start by making an assumption consumer is getting satisfaction by using apples and oranges in this diagram we shows different combinations of apple and oranges that provide same level of satisfaction to a particular consumer so by using one apple and 10 oranges consumer is getting a certain level of satisfaction and that same level of satisfaction can be achieved by that particular consumer by using two apples and five oranges same level of satisfaction can also be obtained by using three apples and two oranges so again different combination of two commodities 
that provides same level of satisfaction if we repre represent those things graphically we use a curve to which we called as isoutility curve or indifference curve whenever we make study about the indifference curve again we start may we start we formulate certain assumptions first of all ke under the theory of the preferences we assume consumer can assign rank to all the consumption bundles that are available for consumption consumer can make an ordering of all the consumption bundles that are available for his consumption secondly there is no point of saturation there is no point of saturation there is no point of saturation more is always preferred over less so an indifference curve shows the same level of satisfaction along all the points that lie on a particular indifference curve and a higher indifference curve indicate a higher level of satisfaction at and each indifference curve is associated with a different level of satisfaction the indifference curve that we considered here is convex to the origin it might be possible our indifference curve is a negatively sloped straight line it might be possible our indifference curve are right angled curve depending upon the nature of the commodities if indifference curves are right angled curve then the two commodities that are under consideration for consumption are perfect complement and if we consider two commodities are perfect substitutes then our indifference curve is a negatively sloped straight line but when we assume consumer preferences are well behaved preferences then our indifference curve is convex to the origin and more is always preferred over less as we have as i have already mentioned ke higher the indifference curve higher the level of satisfaction in this diagram by taking apples on horizontal axis and oranges on vertical axis we are showing here theory indifference curves i see 1 i see 2 and i see 3 among these three indifference curves i see 3 indicate a higher level of satisfaction as compared to i see 2 i see 2 indicate a higher level of satisfaction as compared to i see 1 but along each indifference curve level of satisfaction of the consumer is constant there is no change in level of satisfaction along a particular indifference curve any combination that lie on any difference curve provide same level of satisfaction but ic3 indicate a higher level of satisfaction as compared to ic2 so under ordinal approach by using indifference curve we can assign ranks to all the consumption bundles that are available for consumption to a particular consumer higher the indifference curve higher the level of satisfaction and that's all in this module thank you